now I gotta clean that up. What's up, you clowns? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. I go by MK Fit. And welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna be going through all of my favorite activewear brands. I'm gonna be talking about exactly which brands that I like to purchase all of my athletic wear from. Talk about pricing, sizing, style, squat proofness, all of that. So we're gonna go through that fun stuff today. Just a quick heads up, none of this is sponsored. None of this is an affiliate link. These are all clothes that I purchased with my own money, like maybe one day goals to get sponsored by some of these amazing companies. But this is all stuff that I've purchased. I have tried probably every single big name brand that is out there when it comes to activewear clothes. I know which ones I like. I know exactly what I look for when I'm buying workout clothes. So we'll go through all of that today. I'm actually pretty excited. Obviously it's my job and I love to buy workout clothes. Like I'm in, I'm in desperate need for a new, uh, a new haul soon. Next payday maybe. My big three all-time faves are Gymshark, uh, Tala by Grace Beverly. We're going to talk about Lululemon as well. We're just going to jump right into it. I'm going to say that this is probably my all-time favorite company to purchase gym wear from. I find their pricing reasonable for the quality that you get. I think their customer service is excellent. I think they're a very, very strong company. Like I've been buying from this company even like before they got crazy, crazy big. And they're really like trying to focus on, you know, inclusivity and, you know, showing different body types and all that. And first and foremost, they are like an athletic where they are about people who go to the gym and lift weights. Like I said, not sponsored, but like honestly low key like goals. Okay. so. Let's talk about exactly which uh, styles I like because Gymshark has grown incredibly and even I find their site overwhelming. Um, I know exactly what each and every style is. I know which ones I like, which ones I'm not a fan of. Uh, so I'm gonna go through them right now. So the first ones I'm gonna talk about is probably the camo. So the camo collection, this is the only color I have for now. Let's wait until next payday maybe. These are probably the most flattering leggings I have ever worn in my entire life. The material is insanely thick, but it's like, it cinches you in in like a good way. And um, I just, I also just love camo. Like I love, love, love this color. You might recognize the outfit from the Shrek video. <laughs> probably the number one thing that I love about Gymshark's leggings is there is no front seam on the majority of their leggings. I do not wear underwear when I work out, like ever. I don't like it. I don't like the feeling. You know, when I wear thongs, they move around, they go up places where they shouldn't. And I just prefer to go free bird down there. So when I wear leggings that have a front seam, ladies, I'll just say it. I get camo toe, like who doesn't? So I don't understand why the majority of the bigger brands, I won't say names, most of their leggings have a front seam. I'm like, excuse you, hello. Even when you do wear underwear, I still get the camo. So just a shout out, time to get rid of the front seam, ladies and gentlemen. So that's the number one reason why I like Gymshark the most because most of them do not have the front seam. These are even better because they have a little scrunch in the bum that is just so freaking flattering. When it comes to leggings, I like to have my waist sucked in. I like my booty to be contoured. That was kind of a fail. Same with the sports bra. I have no boobs. You like, this is not a secret. I just don't really have any. So the sports bra is a V-neck. It's got padding and she sucks my girls in and like makes them look like I got something. I love that and I also love the back dealing. Look how nice that is. Like some cool ass uh, stuff going on back there. In terms of pricing, the camo I believe is one of the more expensive ones, but like I said, it's like, it's like the best, okay? It's really, really good. I think Canadian, it's about $90 for the leggings, okay? I don't know all the US prices, sorry guys. But they do have um, a US site, they have a Canadian site, they have a UK site. So you can get your actual currency. And I will say their customer service guys freaking fantastic. One time I ordered a pair of leggings and part of the label came off. Like it's not a big deal, but I just sent them a picture. I'm like, Hey, like I just got these. They're brand new. And like part of the label is like 
falling off or whatever. Not only did they send me a brand new pair, but they sent me a gift card as well. Like, thank you. Other collections that I love, I love the flex leggings. The booty contouring is on another level. Like, look at that. Like, I'm not even wearing them and you can see that the butt is already lifted, okay? Um, I have both styles of the flex leggings. I have the low-waisted and the high-waisted. I actually really like the low-waisted. I know like I'm a high-waisted kind of gal. I want to be covered in that lower belly region, but for some reason, like the lower-waisted flex leggings, they go really nice and high on the hips, which like, I don't know. It just hits me in the right places. So for me, I really like it. Obviously on a good day when I'm not bloated, but I love both styles. So where's my high waist? Ah! So here's the high waisted. So the branding is super cool. It's on the back, the sports bra matches. It's got the same contouring, although on the black, you can't really see it, but um, yeah. And the sports bra is also like, I find it really, really supportive, but again, I have no boobs, so I, I couldn't really say much. Both the material is really, really thick, so it's really, really good for like fall, winter, that kind of thing. In the summer, I die. I die of heat in these bad boys, so definitely more of a fall, winter thing for sure. The last Gymshark collection I will talk about is the seamless. So they have multiple styles of seamless leggings, but just the word seamless alone, just like it makes my heart so happy. So I remember these are the exact leggings that I waited seven and a half hours in line for, okay? I got like three different colors uh, in these leggings. These have stretched out over time. These are actually a little bit big on me right now. I got these a couple years ago. Um, like, look, you can see how much the waistband has kind of um, expanded. Um, I'm also a different size than when I got these leggings. So all of the uh, sportswear in Gymshark, I am a size extra small on the bottom and I am a small up top just because I'm really, really prone to back pain when it comes to sports bras. Not that I have like bigger boobs, like the extra small fits my boobs, but in terms of like I have broad shoulders, back pain, I size up in the sports bras and they still fit my boobs just fine. And actually when the waistband is too big for me, I just roll down the top part and it fits just fine. I don't really care. And obviously, I love me a good matching set. Not as thick as the Flex or the Camo, but it's still like, it sucks you in. It's good for all seasons. Highly recommend. If I buy the leggings, I'm buying the sports bra. But yeah, that's probably my number one. Let's move on. So I just feel like we need to talk about the elephant in the room, which is obviously Lululemon. I will just say this about Lululemon. The material, is butter. It is butter on my thighs. Like there's a reason why that people go nuts over Lululemon because this material, there's literally nothing else like it. However, the price, it's just not my jam. I'm sure they're worth the price. Canadian, these bad boys for the Align leggings, $98. Like I said, I mean, I just talked about Gymshark and they were $90 for the camo leggings. There's a lot cheaper ones, by the way. But anyways, I just, it just kills my soul because the problem is the only thing that I'm a die hard for at Lululemon is the Align leggings. They are the only leggings that I will wear that has a front seam because again, the material is so soft. It's so thin that, you know, I can kind of get away with the camo or it's just so freaking comfortable that I don't care about the camo. When I say camo, I say camo, I mean camel toe, by the way, not camo, camel. It kills my soul to pay $98 for a pair of leggings, but yet I have multiple pairs in multiple colors. So I don't really know what else to say about that. But I will say guys, like in terms of making your butt look unfreaking believable, what can I say? When it comes to picking out leggings, I'm all about the booty. Like, it's kind of what I have to work with. So I got to accentuate it. You know what I mean? Like I said, I got nothing up top. So really got to focus on down there. So yes, they're amazing. They feel amazing, but they're $98. The, the Align leggings are the only thing that I buy from Lululemon. I'm just not, a, I'm just not crazy about their prices. So I don't buy anything else because nothing to me has been like, okay, I'll pay $98 for that, except for the Align leggings. Um, and even then it's like, ugh, frig. 
So yeah, I've heard really good things by the way about Airy, their material and their pricing. Very close dupe to the Lululemon leggings. I haven't tried it uh, just because I haven't found anything on the site that like, you know, screams I need to get this, but maybe one day when uh, I feel comfortable going out shopping in a mall again, then I will, I will give it a go. But yes, the Lululemon leggings are um, butter and they are a sad addiction and uh, an expensive one for sure, but I love them. I do have a couple of their sports bras. I liked the colors, but that's about it. Moving on. All right, this is a recent discovery. So I am actually a huge fan of uh, Grace Beverly. So for those of you who don't know who Grace Beverly is, she was a former Gymshark athlete, I think. She's like 22 years old. She runs like three companies. Goals, right? Badass female in this industry, which immediately I was like, I wanna support that. So her company, her active work company called Tala, T-A-L-A, -A, is all sustainable active wear. Like these leggings and stuff are made out of like recycled water bottles or something. It just brought my attention to an issue that I don't know a whole lot about and I would absolutely love to learn more. I have some things from her brand Tala, I love it. I'm still trying to figure out sizing to be honest. Like some of the things I've ordered, they're like, oh, this is way too small or this is way too big. I'm probably an extra small down on the bottom and a small up top. I have three outfits from three different collections. So this blue outfit here is from the Stride Run collection. It's probably my favorite one. I just saw this color and I was like, I need that. I need that right now. This size is an extra small in the bottom. And then uh, for the jacket, I could only get an extra small up top. So it's way too tight for me. But like sometimes on a good day, I like to suck it in and pretend like it fits. Um, just again, I loved the color and the smalls were sold out. The leggings were about 48 pounds. Okay, not Canadian. This is a UK company. I'll look it up. Hey Siri, what's what's 48 pounds in Canadian dollars? 48 British pounds is equivalent to about 82.53 Canadian dollars. Okay, so still cheaper than Lululemon and even a little, that's her most expensive one and it's still a little bit cheaper than uh, the Gymshark camo. So it's not awful. The problem is, is that like, you know, if you're shipping to like Canada or the US, I don't know about the US, but in Canada, I always get dinged with customs and shipping and all that, but I like to support other women. So, you know, it's just the price you gotta pay. So I would personally rather pay more money uh, for a company that I know is, you know, ethical, treats their employees fairly, run by a badass female. Like these are things on top of quality that I'm willing to pay for. So that's just me. Um, I also recently bought the Soul collection, which I think is more like lifestyle than activewear. The shorts I can definitely use uh, for working out, but I recently, you guys might have seen on my Instagram, I recently tried to do uh, Death by Leg Day in the shorts and the top because they just look so freaking cute, but yeah, I could not pull off the one shoulder because my boob was just out and I don't have a lot to begin with and I was falling out, so that's a bit of an issue, but I could definitely rock it on like a summer day for sure. Uh, the last collection that I bought from her, I have the Zinnia leggings, which are about 40 pounds. Okay, you do the math. So 40 pounds, uh, super nice detailed contouring, by the way, on all of their shorts, all of their leggings. Like, it's not as obvious as like the Gymshark, like, but the contour for the booty, it's there. She's subtle, but she's there. I ordered the matching top. I just don't think for my body type and like my boobs, <laughs> that it looked really good on me and the waist is too big. Um, I also just, I just feel like I can't pull off a vest type thing. I tried it, not for me. I prefer more of a traditional sports bra, but it's pretty stinking. If you can pull it off, it's pretty stinking cute. Like when I see pictures of Grace Beverly wearing this outfit, I'm like, oh. super great company, into it. Takes a bajillion years to ship, but like I said, like these are the things I'm willing to pay for, especially being a woman in business myself. So first of all, do not judge me. I have a thing for all white shoes. I don't buy a lot of colors just because I would like all of my shoes to go with all of my outfits. For me, white is the cleanest. It looks so fresh. I can talk to you about how I clean them, et cetera, et cetera, in another video if you would like, but most of my shoes are all white. That's just me, that's just my my jam. Let's talk about, um, you know, 
what kind of shoes you should use for different types of workouts. Let's get into all that. So the first thing I wanna talk to you about is leg day. I have a specific set of shoes that I wear for only leg day. And this is because that when you are doing leg day, when you're doing squats and lunges and all these deadlifts, all these different leg exercises, you actually do not want a comfy, like super thick sole. I actually want your feet to be as close to the ground as you possibly can. So this was my Christmas gift. I introduce you to the Nike Metcons. I don't even know if you can see that. They have an insanely, like look at this, it is flat. There is no cushion, like these are hard, right on the ground, like you can feel your feet flat on the ground. They were expensive because I had them custom made because they did not have an all white pair. They kept on having these crazy colors and I was like, I'm not into it. So these were about over $300 Canadian. <gasps> I know, don't judge me. They're amazing, I love them. They're so good for leg day. And now you're saying to me, Emily, I'm not spending $300 on a pair of shoes just for leg day. Most normal people wouldn't. I am not normal, okay? A great alternative to the Nike Metcons for leg day, if you're someone that's serious about having proper lifting shoes or whatever, is Converse, okay? I wear, I, I used to wear, before I had these bad boys, I only got these last Christmas, I wore my Converse all the time. Or Keds, just anything that has a flat sole, my friends, bare feet. Although, I wouldn't wanna go bare feet in a gym, to be honest. Yeah, flat sole. Death by leg day. Moving on. In terms of, we're gonna go the exact opposite now. For literal clouds on your feet, these need to be washed, by the way, don't judge me. These are the Adidas Ultra Boosts. I know I've actually got a bit of color in here. We got some gray happening, but I love these. They desperately need to be washed, but I love them. They feel like clouds. They are so comfy. These are a good training shoe. Please keep in mind that I am not a runner at all, so I will never ever recommend a good shoe for running, but these are definitely good for training, for sure. I love them, they're comfy, I wear them out walking, I wear them for training, I wear them for MK hits all the time. These are not bad on my condo floors uh, in terms of like slipperiness, because that's something I've been really struggling with, especially doing all the at-home workouts, is that my hardwood floors are super slippery. They're not bad in terms of Traction, sometimes I switch to a different shoe just because I don't want to slip and fall on camera. But normally in the gym, these guys are amazing. These are also on the pricier side. I think I paid $265 Canadian for these bad boys. But there are so many different variations, so many different colors, and they go on sale all the time. So keep an eye out in like your local, like I don't know what other people have in other countries, but like Browns or Foot Locker or any of these places. Check it out, they are clouds clouds on your feet. Moving on. I recently went to, it wasn't Foot Locker, it wasn't Shoe Factory, but it was one of those types of places and I suck, I can't remember. And I found these. These are also Adidas. I like go back and forth between Adidas and Nike for shoes. They're, they're, they're a close tie, for sure. I found these. These are basically very similar to the Ultra Boost, but they're a lot thinner. Uh, they still have cushion, but they're just not as like chunky looking and I am obsessed. I love the look of these. In most of my uh, hit videos, I'm usually wearing these guys. Again, they're similar to the Ultra Boost. Can be a little bit slippery on my hardwood floors, but sometimes I just don't care. I love the look of them so much. It just says, I don't even know what type they are. They say Cloud Super and the sole of the shoe. They're Adidas and I got them at one of those like shoe factory, foot lockery, type places and they were so cheap. I think they were like 65 bucks and I was like, yes. So those have been a go-to for the hits. My feet never hurt for training, especially be great for that. And yeah, I think those are my top fave right now. I don't know, I switch it up every week. Moving on, for the days that I'm like, I don't wanna slip and fall, I wanna do like, you know, Zumba or MK Hit or whatever. They are not a gym shoe at all, but I wear them anyways. These are my Fila's. I have two pairs. I have a clean pair and a dirty pair. I am showing you the clean pair right now, okay? So they have these teeth at the bottom. They're insanely chunky. 
Like, this is the opposite of what you would want on a leg day. They're a bit loose on my feet, so they don't have great, like, ankle support or anything like that, but they're just so cute and they're so chunky and I'm short, so I love them. And I just know that when I wear them, I'm not gonna slip and fall. Um, these are definitely more of a lifestyle shoe, but I wear them all the time for MK hits, so why not? I think I got them at, like, Boathouse, actually, but again, you can get them at any, like, most of the big shoe places, Foot Locker, all that fun stuff. I think these were $90 Canadian. Last but not least, I mentioned this earlier, I also love Puma's shoes. Not white, look, we got some color in there. I just find like design-wise, I love Puma for their like, I don't know, like this, these are cool. This makes me want to wear colored shoes. I have a lot of shoes, okay? I, I'm the first to admit it, Emily, you do not need this many shoes. But anyways, besides the point, these are, I forget what kind of they are, the hybrid, it says hybrid on it. Puma Hybrid, they are awesome and I love them and I just think they're really cool. I just think Puma's really, really good for cool like designs and stuff. They're really, really comfy. I wear them for training, I wear them for cardio. Yeah. Listen, when it comes to like picking the right footwear, everybody is so different. I don't really have a lot of problems with like my ankles or my feet, anything like that. For a lot of people, oh, you need orthotics or anything like that. If you're someone that you know that like you know, you have a lot of problems with foot pain or anything like that, I always recommend that you go to an orthopedic doctor or someone uh, in that area to make sure that you're getting something that's gonna support your feet. But yeah, in terms of fitness, just a flat sole for leg day is awesome. If you don't have a flat sole for leg day, don't panic, it's not the end of the world. It's ideal, it is not life or death, okay? But yeah, those are my top faves. We went through a lot. So, I will put all this hopefully below in the description box and I will try not to leave anything out. And yeah, always let me know what you guys want to see. All right, you guys know the drill. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, cause why not? And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Take care everyone, bye.